If you are facing lag in Ether SX2 emulator then you have came to the right video. After applying the settings which I will be showing you guys today, your performance will be almost doubled. In today's video I will show you guys how to get more FPS in Ether SX2 emulator and fix lag. So I won't be doing this tutorial on my flagship device. I have brought a 3 year old mid range device. This is the Redmi Note 7 with Snapdragon 660 processor. Now if you guys know then the minimum requirements of Ether SX2 emulator were Snapdragon 845 or above. But we will be playing this PS2 emulator and running God of War at 30 FPS. I will show you guys how to do that on a low end device. This literally is of 3 and a half year old so you guys will understand. So first of all what you guys have to do is install the latest update of Aether SX2 emulator. But for low end devices what you guys have to do is you just got to click on next. Afterwards click on next again. Now here you just have to enable the fast slash unsafe defaults. Enabling this option will let us get more FPS but we might also face texture glitches etc. I'll show you guys how to fix that etc later on in today's video so don't skip any part of it. Aspect ratio keep it at stress so that you will get the full screen display uh, experience but once that has been done you just have to go ahead and click on next. Afterwards click on import bios and select the bios file uh, as you guys can see right here just go ahead and click on it and then just go ahead and click on it again click on next. Once that has been done click on plus. Now we ha will have to select the uh, directory or folder where we have stored our PS2 games. I stored my God of War 2 ISO in this folder on Pixart. Don't ask me why. But anyways once we have added we will click on next and click on finish. Now we have successfully set it up uh, Aether SX2 emulator. Now let me tell you guys how to get more FPS. Now this device right here the uh, uh, Redmi Note 7 is running on Android 10 so it supports Vulkan. So what we will do is we will just go ahead and click on this option and afterwards we will go to app settings. Now what we have to do is we need to go to graphics settings and GPU renderer keep it at Vulkan. Upscale multiplier keep it at 1x native because this is an low end device it won't be able to handle 2x uh, upscaling. Afterwards what we have to do is we just need to go ahead and uh, come to this option, uh, disable this option right here, enable frame limit option, disable this so that you will be able to exceed the capped frame rates and afterwards enable the fast boot option. Once that has been done what we have to do is we need to go to system. Now here is the main part guys, we will be underclocking the game but I won't be doing it right now, I will first of all uh, apply the base settings then show you guys the FPS we are getting and afterwards I will underclock and I will show you guys the underclock settings and how it will increase more FPS. But anyways once that has been done I will just go ahead and go to graphics. Now here we will need to do some uh, options, disable bilinear uh, upscaling and also disable FXA shader. Afterwards click on show VPS because we need to see uh, that, uh, click on show speed, show resolution, show CPU usage. Uh, and this is the VSync queue uh, size, so you just have to keep it at default. Afterwards blending accuracy must be to minimum, ok. Once that has been done we just need to go ahead and uh, enable this option. Now it will preload textures which will, which will improve performance in some games and afterwards what we have to do is we just need to enable this new option. So this is the uh, new setting which has been added in the latest update of Aether SX2 emulator. Can be a huge performance win in some games slash drivers. As I mentioned before this is the new option added. Now software rendering threads just keep it at default. So once that has been done you can also decrease the output volume to get more FPS in Aether SX2 emulator. You can just go ahead and disable it and you might get some more FPS but I wouldn't recommend it. I know because most of you guys would like to hear the audio of the game. So if you really have a very very old low end device then disable the output volume. And once that has been done uh, we are all set to playing games on our Android devices. Uh, there are more upscaling hacks etc which you can enable in the graphic rendering option. Now if you enable upscaling hack uh, then you will be able to see option which can improve performance slash glitches in some games. What you guys have to do is you just need to disable depth emulation and afterwards just go ahead and scroll down and let me see if there are any more settings which we can enable to increase our FPS and I don't think there are any. So just keep everything at default. Once that has been done we will just go ahead and scroll down and uh, in the graphics driver you can enable threaded presentation. Now note all of these settings are experimental it can cause your game to crash in some cases so just keep that in mind. Now once that has been done we will just go ahead and go back and we are all set to playing the game. Now let me show you guys what FPS do we get with the best settings and on low end device on God of War uh, 2 which we are running. And don't forget guys I haven't even showed you guys uh, how to get more FPS in Aether SX2 emulator trick yet. So just be sure to watch the full video. Right now is the gameplay with just best settings and afterwards we'll compare these FPS with the FPS that we'll get after we apply the trick to get more FPS in this game. Do not worry I'll tell you guys how to do everything. 
So let us wait until the game has started. Let me just go ahead and skip this part if I can. So here the uh, app just crashed, Aether SX2 crashed. Now I think it might be because of the Vulkan GPU render which we are using. So I'll tell you guys how to fix that. Just go ahead and select God of War 2 uh, or any game which crashes. Go to game properties then go to system settings. Afterwards what you guys have to do is go to graphics settings okay. Then select the GPU renderer as OpenGL okay. Once that has been done just go ahead and go back and we'll try running this game again. Now Vulkan GPU renderer may be unstable so it uh, causes crashing issues after the uh, intro of the game so just keep that in mind. Now as you guys can see our game has successfully started. We'll select uh, easy difficulty and let us just go ahead and click on the X button and here we go guys our game has started. Now let us try to skip this part again. I don't think we can skip it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you can skip this part or not. But anyways uh, let's wait. So here as you guys can see the game did not crash. As I mentioned before it crashed because of the Vulkan GPU. Now as I mentioned before Vulkan can uh, surely increase FPS. But here as you guys can see even on a 3.5 year old mid range device we are getting great amount of FPS I think 45 FPS and it is not that laggy it is not uh, jittery at all and if you disable audio then it will be even better. Now uh, the game is working pretty fine we can even upscale in my opinion. But now here is the part guys just take a look at these options ok we'll take a screenshot of this just because why not. Once that has been done now we'll just go ahead and close the game ok we'll exit the game. Now I'll show you guys the uh, trick to get more FPS in Aether SX2. Just go ahead and hold it, go to game properties and then go to uh, system settings. Now what we have to do is, uh, here is the underclocking option. We need to go ahead and click on it and select the 50% minus 3 and then go to E, then click on maximum underclock. Now what you guys have to do is, you just need to go ahead and select the normal speed and go ahead and make it to 120. Now it will surely increase your RAM usage so just go ahead and make it at 120% then go back. Now let's check out the uh, FPS that we will get right now. And also you can try experimenting and increasing the normal speed to 130-140% according to your device but it will surely have consequences. And here we go guys. It's way more smooth now guys as you guys can see it's not jittering at this moment when we uh, first started the game it was jittering but it's not jittering right now so anyways let me just go ahead and skip and as you guys can see right here our game is working way better than it, uh, it was before and these all three things are in green guys it was in red if you guys saw that now it, we are uh, getting all the good things guys it's not lagging at all this is the perfect way to fix lag and also every issue which you guys face in Aether SX2 emulator now there might be more issues which you'll surely face but let me tell you guys that uh, this method will surely boost your FPS and here you can see that we are getting close to uh, let's say we are getting 122% speed guys on a low end device this device cannot be even compared to with the uh, high end or mid range devices of this year and still we are getting amazing FPS and also the game is more than playable uh, which makes it really fun. So anyways that's it for today's video thanks for watching make sure like and subscribe I hope this trick helped you guys if it did then let me know in the comment section down below. Basically it directly went from uh, the red which we are getting as you guys can see before doing the settings all of the stats were in red and we are getting only 88% speed but after we did the underclocking we get more than 100 plus speed. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye. See you guys tomorrow.